Okay, so in between videos there, I saved it off, and I went back and I listened to the whole thing back so that you guys wouldn't have to watch me listen to it back. That seems kind of redundant at this point, um, but it's something that I absolutely have to do in order to um, find out where I want to go next, right? So the next thing I want to do, I felt like this, um, you know, we copied this melody over to the middle portion of the song uh, to one, create a theme that we could go back to at the end of the song, which of course is what we created first, so it kind of kind of is backwards. <laughs> but um, anyway, we built this chorus into the middle. We've got these nice, long, sustained chords from uh, whatever this is, measure 27 here, and then we start getting a little bit more uh, rhythmic as we go to the end of this little passage. So, you know, we did the same thing with the cello part, you know, we actually cut the time in half on each uh, strike of the chord, or strike of the note, rather. And in listening to it back, what I found was coming out of this initial, you know, I'm, I'm calling basically 1 through 16, or well, I guess it's not 16, but 1 through 19, my introduction bit to the song. This next little 8-bar uh, phrase is just that. It is the phrase that introduces the other instruments, the uh, stringed instruments and the uh, piano. And then as we get out of it, we're coming into this nice melody, this uh, theme that I... I actually think I'm going to take it out and kind of use it in other places where the character that's in the introduction of the book is uh, having something important going on. Um, Anyway, what I felt the problem was here, we've got these nice, long, sustained notes, but this melody down here at the bottom, it's feeling rushed because of the rhythmic uh, bit that it's got going on. I feel like it's just doing too much too quickly. So like I did with the initial phrase, we built this part first, I'm sure you uh, remember. You know, and we, we took it and we stripped it down to create the introduction just by removing some of the um, extra notes between, you know, the beats. Uh, so I'm going to do basically the same thing here, except instead of removing just haphazardly... Sorry, I have to adjust my microphone again. I need a new mic stand. Um... Instead of adjusting, or just re oh, adjusting, yeah, yeah, my brain's easy to... Instead of just removing things haphazardly, what I'm going to do is take anything where I've got a double strike on, an, on a note like this E here, where we're hitting the same note over and over again. I'm going to... Well, I guess that's not what I'm... Anyway, let me just show you what I'm going to do, because it's easier to show sometimes than it is to tell. So you saw there, I removed the double strike. I think I'm going to remove going back to this one altogether and just stretch this uh, D out to the end of the bar. Then again, I've got another double strike here, so I'm going to get rid of it. You know, so I'm just trying to ease up and create a little bit of anticipation. You, you, I don't. All right, so let's listen to it back the other way it was. Um, the big change here is that extra note there on the half bar. Here again on the half bar. We're just going to take them both out and uh, listen to the... Um, it almost builds a little tension because it, it doesn't quite get back to where you think it... where you think it should on... The particular beat that you feel like it should. All right, so yeah, um, let me do it one more time and just see. Sorry, I'm talking more than I'm working. But that one feels right to me. It feels like, okay, we've got through the crest where we're willing to hold back a little bit. And now all the extra notes feel appropriate. 
if that makes any sense at all. Maybe I'm being too wordy. And see, that works perfectly with the rising piano sound. And there we've got a break. So that's really, really pleasant to my ear. And we're calm again. We're, you know, uh, peaceful. Remember, that's one of my big emotions for this song is to be uh, peaceful or uh, playful or whatever. Now this is another part where I'm not quite sure how to get back to the chorus. But I hear this and I'm happy with this. You know, this first one was a little bit more intense with the extra instruments in it, but having just the toy piano do this, it feels right to me. It's simple. I heard something in there that I really like too that I want to make sure that I make use of. But I'm going to let this finish before I... Sorry. Okay, so what I heard in here um, was bird chirping. Right there. That's really nice. Okay, so I'm going to, what am I going to do with this? Ah, this sucks. I think I'm just going to try to pull that out. Where else do we have a place where there's a little bit of space? I want that to be heard. This is where we have space. Let's put it there as well as, like, at the end. All right, so it really hits really good for a bar there. Yeah, the little whatever that is. The other thing I noticed about this sample, it was taken at night. So I'm guessing there's crickets in here. Maybe those are crickets. Some kind of night insect. Uh, which technically isn't appropriate for the chapter because it's supposed to be bright sunny day afternoon time. I guess that's why I'm kind of clinging to this bird here. That's nice, yeah. Any chance I can just get away with duplicating this again? Sometimes when you... I don't know. Sometimes when you duplicate samples like that, I mean, it sounds so much like you just duplicated a sample. And, you know, don't go on it. If you're going to do something like that, make something different. I didn't see the third time is way too much. And the other thing we're having an issue with here is now the length of the song is extending past the uh, sample itself. So I'm going to take stuff from the beginning of the song and scooch it back to the back. Now, wait a second. Did we hear it again? Yeah, no, maybe. I don't know if that's the same bird or not. Yeah, okay, so anyway, see if we can find anything else that's really interesting in this sample. Oh, the anticipation is killing me. Yeah, not really. Okay, well, we'll call it good enough. So I think that's what we're going to do and just uh, kind of cut the volume out of the sample as it goes to silence in the end of the song. The other thing I love doing, and I probably overdo it, 
but I think I'm going to do it anyway, if you know what I mean. Uh, with Reason 7, they implemented a parallel processing quick button, hot button deal, make it real easy to do things real fun, like we are about to try. Um, yeah, create parallel channel for our toy piano, and basically what that does doesn't duplicate the um, notes or anything like that. It just gives us, where is it at? Way up here at the top. An extra insert effect and, you know, mixer channel that has nothing but our toy piano sound on it, which is absolutely fantastic in my professional amateur opinion. And what I was thinking was something, you know, that we all love so much, reverb. And just kill it, you know, lots of it, unholy amounts of it. Uh, let's cut out the low frequencies and the ultra high stuff too, because we've got the uh, the wind sample that really fills in all that. So I don't want to do too much way up there. And, uh, yeah, so this is going to be unbearable at first, but hear me out. Yeah, that's unbearable, just like you said it would be. We can, um, modulate this by bringing it in and out as we want to. And what I'm thinking is, as this, uh, second phrase here is coming to a close, I'm going to bring it in. First of all, let's open in edit mode. I want the default value to be zero because I don't want this sound very often. But I'm thinking these last little phrases here, what is this, uh, 51, start bringing it in for a while before taking it back out during this little bit here at the end. And I'm not quite sure how much I'm going to need, but we'll... You know, I bought this uh, Nectar Panorama, and I'm still not used to using it. The thing to do would be to actually automate this using one of their sliders. But like I said, I'm just not there yet. Let's just see what kind of vibe we get off of this thing. Not sure it's going to work, but we'll give it a shot. The rest of the album is going to have a lot more electronic uh, effect, sci-fi. Not, I mean, it's certainly not a science fiction book. Uh, is that going to give us enough? I don't think so. All right, so I'm going to pull this back some, and then I'm going to raise the whole little drawing up some. Pardon me as I belch in your ear. Why is it not automating? Uh, I think that thing's trying to make me angry again. There's something about this panorama deal that... Is it going to do it this time? This motorized fader is the thing that kills me. There it goes. It's going to do it. Are you going to do it? No, I saw you twitch and now you're in this automation override thing. Oh, I hate this. Too many buttons. Not enough sense being made out of them. I don't know how to turn this stupid automated fader thing off. Off. Just stop. Thank you. All right, I'm over it. Mostly.
Yeah, that's kind of cool. Gives it a little synthy kind of feel to it. Because, uh, you know, and this is kind of, okay, dreamy, that's a good word for it. No, I want it to get out of town before we get to there. We need to gradually come off of it some. All right, let's try that. The first chapter of the book heads in a completely different direction. <laughs> so I kind of want to leave this thing as a, a, the soundtrack to the book, right? I want to leave it open-ended at the end of this song where you're not quite sure what direction we're going to take. It's very dreamy, lofty. I think that's good. I, I, I'm okay with that. We're going to listen to it throughout the week and see if that's a reasonable idea or not. Um, all right, so what else did I want to do? I don't know. I kind of, I don't know. Maybe we should do more. All right, I'm, I'm getting carried away here. Somebody hit me with a stick. What else can we do to this thing? Don't want to put anything that I'm trialing on it because I don't want to have to purchase it later just because I haphazardly put something on it. Bad about doing that. <laughs> kind of corner myself into wanting something that way. What if we do kind of creep it out a little bit? You just did what you told yourself not to do. This is something you're trialing. Oh, this is going to be weird. Oh, but it's good. Yeah, that works for me. Is it good for you too? Um, that's how we want to do that. Pretty much just like that. Okay, uh, does one of these sliders actually operate this thing? I want to try to do it with this, um, uh, Mixer thing. I think I've screwed something up. Do any of you actually operate that channel? I hate this thing. It's so difficult for me. It doesn't make any sense. All right. Yeah, um, I can keep pressing buttons here. I could just draw it in manually. I think I'm going to draw it in manually. I really have to read the manual on this thing. All right, so we're going to start again at nothing. But this time we're going to start at nothing bef um, after this little transition deal. And we're going to gradually, 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 gradually. And before you know it, we're going to be insane. And then we're going to come on back down. And that's going to be our transition into song number two, which will make you nuts. Let's hope that's not too hot. I don't know, that reverb may be too much. 
Are we working here? We're not. Come on. Do what you're supposed to do. Okay, you're doing it. Yeah, it's way too slow on the increase. Need a little bit more, a little bit quicker. I don't know, something like that. I certainly want it to be ridiculous by the time it gets to the end, but I don't want it to become overpowering earlier on. That didn't do what I wanted it to do. not feeling present enough. That's going to be too much. Sorry. Yeah, I really do need to learn how to use this thing. Oops. Ah, that's what that button does. It's a solo deal, isn't it? Hmm. I don't know. I think this is going to get to be too much. It, it, it's like I wanted to do it quickly, but I wanted to do it slowly at the same time. Very complicated emotions I'm going through right now. Now that I've figured out this thing, let's see. Bye. There it is. Look at that. I can make it move all by itself. All right. Let's try that then. Whoa. All right. Look at that. That slider is awesome. Why didn't I learn that before? Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, that's exactly the waveform I was trying to get to earlier. Yeah. Uh, right. And lesson number 8,000 from all this. Look at your timer. It's 23 minutes into this video, you big dummy. Um, yeah, lesson... To be learned here is learn how to operate your MIDI controller and actually make use of the slider dealy bobs so that uh, you know you make your life easier okay stop in video